Hey everyone, welcome back to Scalar. In this tutorial, we are going to complete the rock, paper, scissor game. That is basically we will be uh, coding the JavaScript part. Uh, that is like adding functionality, right? And I have uh, linked the JavaScript file here at the bottom of your index.html. Mm, let's come to here, okay? Uh, first thing, uh, what do we want? Uh, uh, let me just refresh it, okay? And you will notice here, uh, initially we don't have uh, the u comp selected one and the result right this is u comp we don't have any of this right at the starting so i'm removing it from our index.html okay i'm just copying it i'm just taking it out and i'm pasting it in the script.js at the uh, end i'll be using these two okay i've just removed it and remove one more thing uh, that is result right so what exactly happens uh, we get result right you select one okay and the computer selects one there's two things and the results come out on the basis of the choices you and the computer has made right so uh, first thing we want is to add event listener to each of these three icons right so let's just select these three icon and add event listener to that uh, let icons equal or uh, document dot query selector all because we are going to select all the icons here uh, icon container or uh, dot icon i have all the three icons here and i am going to loop through all eyes uh, icons dot length or uh, i plus plus for each icons or uh, each of these uh, i am adding event listener of click run these function okay so over here uh, i've added a uh, event listener let's see what happens let's just log i here okay let's just simply log i here so uh, if i'm uh, clicking on this zero is uh, console one is console and two so just focus here uh, i'm going to use this i uh, when someone uh, when i is zero that means stock stock is selected right when i is one uh, it means paper is selected and when i is 2 oh, that means scissor is selected right so and how am i representing these uh, on the ui with the help of this class is if you focus here this class is right hand scissor that means scissor it is and if i give the class hand just hand if hand it's a paper and hand back fit it's a rock right so oh, what i'm going to do i'm going to have an, a 2d array here 2d array here uh, rock first we'll tell uh, rock and its corresponding class it will have its corresponding class you will get to know oh, its uh, significance once it's completed another one is paper and its class it's just simple hand right and the uh, last one is going to be last one is going to be or uh, scissor and this class is going to be this okay now uh, based on the i i can uh, based on the i i can get uh, i know uh, what's the choice of player right so let's just have let player choice player choice is uh, array of i zero because at zero index is zero index i have choices that is rock paper and scissors basically name of the icon and at the sec first index right at the first position i have the class corresponding to that selected emoji right so player now uh, let's uh, get uh, choice of computer okay so before that let's have a random number uh, it's going to be mat dot random dot random from uh, 0 uh, to 3 3 is not included 0 to 2 basically and just get get it so so that we don't have a number in decimal right uh, let's uh, console this random choice here uh, console dot log and and see it should be in between it should be 0 1 2 right uh, console Two. Oh, I cannot read properties of zero of undefined. 
uh, i is 0 1 2 okay uh, i have not create close this here it's close to it's closed right let's see uh, 1 2 uh, do i have two console not, not one so you can see uh, the value is go just uh, 0 1 and 2 right we are getting the random value in between so it's either 0 1 or 2 so let's get a computer choice let com choice uh, it's going to be uh, array of random uh, at 0 index now we have a uh, player choice and computer choice let's see a uh, uh, player choice Let's see these two player choice is scissor and computer choice is scissor as well player choice is scissor and computer choice is paper right you can notice here uh, our choice is scissor but the computer choice is changing or uh, sometimes it's paper sometimes it's wrong so now what are we going to do we are simply going to uh, get these choices on the ui right so we just simply need to do this so, for uh, let's select uh, the selection container first uh, let to selection container is going to be document dot query selector selection container uh, we do have selection container now we just need to put these these uh, uh, this index oh, this uh, html code inside our selection container dot inner html okay using backtick a uh, single literal let me just uncomment this and uh, mm, okay uh, i will paste it here okay uh, as of now it's fixed uh, it's uh, every time it's going to be showing scissor no matter what i select or computer select so we just need to update these thing these class right we just need to update this class it's going to be a uh, array of i i is player choice right and first index at first index we have corresponding class uh, let me close this so this is uh this is why uh, i used uh, i created this array because for each emoji or rock paper scissor we need corresponding class so i am using with the help of first index right similar here uh, here i am going to use uh, array of random that is the computer choice of first index at first index we have class and close this let's see okay uh, i have selected uh, paper it's showing me and computer has selected um, stock again it's changing right mine is fixed and if i'm changing computer selection is there my selection is there okay this much is complete now oh, come to the result part which is uh, who is the winner right who is the winner uh, now let's move to the uh, result part so let's just have result here um uh, its class is result so document dot query selector dot result we need to uh, update uh, the inner text uh, of result or uh, i it's inside h1 so let's just have h1 here as well need to update the h1 so initially at the starting of design uh, video of this game i told you that it this is uh, how the game works uh, it was paper beats rock scissor beats uh, paper and rock beats scissor so if this is the scenario then you are winning otherwise computer is winning so first thing is like this uh, if player choice equal equal uh, com computer choice so that means it's a draw right you can just simply say result dot inner text it's a draw right let's see if it's working at the draw mm, it's a draw uh, and it didn't not show us draw here let's see what's the error draw is not defined okay it should be a string and a capital one mm, uppercase okay uh, let's see 
it's a draw so a draw is there now let's talk uh, when we are the winner i'll say uh, when are we winner when we have selected player choice equal paper okay and computer choice uh, remember i told you paper uh, beats rock it's rock this is the first case when we can win okay uh, let's talk about another scenario when uh, player choice equal equal uh, scissor and uh, computer choice is equal equal um, computer choice is paper so again we win last uh, one is last scenario is when player choice is uh, player choice is rock and computer choice is scissor so in this scenario as well result uh, dot inner text is going to be you win we are the winner in this case uh, as i told you earlier uh, paper beats rock scissor beats paper and rock beats scissors right and uh, if uh, at else at last uh, result uh, dot inner text is going to be computer winner is the computer so let's see uh, draw cool computer has win cause uh, paper beats rock and uh, we are the winner because uh, rock beats scissor so this is working fine till now but you can observe one thing here if you observe care very carefully it takes some some time right it takes some time before showing up the result but in our case it just shows result immediately right we don't even know if it's updated or it's, it was the last result so for showing uh, or for for showing a delay what we can do we can uh, use a uh, set timeout here and uh, let's just write these this much code in another function it, that's uh, uh, game logic uh, just write it in game logic and paste it here okay and it will be ex expecting i here right so we'll be using set timeout so we will be passing a function here uh, which will be the which, which will be running after this much time okay so after one second let's just run this function after one second and we are going to pass game logic but we need to pass i as well because uh, our choice is dependent on i so we cannot uh, do it like this if there is an we need to pass we can pass it as a third one uh, you if you read here set timeout handler time handler and then timeout and at the last arguments any if there is any arguments we pass it as a third one so i have passed it here let's see you can notice uh, the delay is here right second one also delay but before the delay it doesn't empty here basically before the next result the first one does not go away observe here so what we can do oh, we can simply uh, just set our result dot inner text as empty and selection container dot inner html empty before running this so let's see okay oh, cool cool right it's showing us the result and it's similar to this right so the project is completed uh, before saying goodbye to you i have an assignment for you guys uh, you can see it's working fine now our project is working absolutely fine and i just want to show you something uh, or it's a kind of assignment for you guys okay what if i change uh, this let to where inside for loop i'm using let and what if i change to where and try to run this okay just observe in the console it's showing us error it's not working our project is not working right and if i again change it back to light it will start working again so yeah uh, this is your assignment uh, do uh, leave the reason in the comment section and if it's right i'll 
i'll give a like button i'll give a like to your comment okay and please do leave a like uh, like and subscribe to the channel uh, bye